so today very important systematic search okay so let's suppose whatever the meta topic you have first you do a non formal search and then you do the systematic search okay a non formal search is basically a non formal search is basically just go to the pubmed right so i recently did the meta analysis i actually finished it today with one of my team from Baylor College of Medicine uh, and i want to show you because this will be like a very good experience for you um so let me just show did i show you this sample before or no distal radial versus Mm. I think maybe I did or I didn't. Yeah, I believe there was something like where you were okay. comparing between the distal and the um and the okay. regular side of entry for the angiography, right. right? All right, guys, this is my supplementary file. So first, whenever you do research, you create your supplementary file side by side. You create your manuscript. And this is my PICO questionnaire. You can see all patients who underwent elective or emergent PCI intervention distal radial comparison with the traditional radio and outcomes are blah, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. I divided outcomes into the primary outcome and secondary outcome. Usually you put mortality in the primary outcome, but here I have, there was no data about the mortality. So main focus was radial artery occlusion and excess failure site um, or rate. And that's what I focused on. And then everything else was secondary. And study type was conventional meta-analysis with meta-regression. Anyways, so this is my search strategy. And today I'm gonna tell you how to use the wild card. So okay, this is a wild card I used and I'll teach you step by step. Mm -hmm. so, so first is when you do this, I actually, actually I should put here. So first is when you do this, you put your mesh words, mesh words and keywords, okay? Mm -hmm. You put this here. So here my rest words and keywords were um percutaneous coronary intervention. So yeah, sir, right. where exactly we look for the mesh words? Like can you show yes, us? I'll, I'll guide you also. So when you go to the PubMed, um percutaneous coronary intervention. Now you won't see this in the new interface by Okay, you have to click that and go to the old interface. And when you go there, when you do that, like you're gonna click this mesh term, right? Now, percutaneous coronary intervention. Mm -hmm. There's so many ways to find. I hate the new interface which they made, uh, but the old interface, when you put the mesh term, you're gonna see this dialog box also, and mm -hmm. you see this little mesh. So this term is your mesh term. Okay, another mesh term entry items can be all of these. So literally you can use all of these. You're gonna see mild difference, like coronary intervention, comma, percutaneous, coronary interventions, comma, percutaneous, just extras, intervention, percutaneous, coronary, blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. So here you can use wild cards. So what I can do is like, I can use percut, coron, Nari intervention. Mm -hmm. Inter so it can be intervent, it can be intervention, it can be interventions, mm -hmm. interventionary, whatever the next word is, the software, we're gonna use these flat cards and we're gonna search it for you. All right, let's do that. See, it's searching everything for you. Now this is the mesh term it used. Now, if you click central, PubMed central, mm -hmm. now you're gonna see that it will gonna search all the items for you. <laughs> uh, hold on. Dot KW, I hope KW also works in this now. Wildcard search for coronary used for first. So for coronary, you have to use it in first. So, All right, so now you can see, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I am searching the keywords and it searched like a lot of items for me. Now it worked. Actually, KAW doesn't work on PubMed, sorry. 
but this this is working now. So basically, software will gonna complete the word for you. Okay. So how I put like where to put the aesthetic? It's just a common sense basically. Like mm -hmm. what thing you can think can be completed after this, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. intervention. Yes, but but, but uh, if if we use intervention only without this, uh, it will generate only intervention. I mean. It will generate will not intervention, appear. interventions, intervention, interventionary, blah, blah, blah. It will gonna include any word with the prefix of interven. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So whatever okay. you, so before, like before the direct, that word will become prefix basically. So whatever you think will be the appropriate prefix for your topic, that's the way to go. Okay. Okay. okay? A lot of people don't use that, but it's good to use that because you're going to increase your results. Okay. Okay. Now this, this old format was really good and you can, I think you can still use it. I'm not wrong. Uh, five years, but I don't think it has like a lot of, um, a lot of, so here you can select the PubMed also. So there is a difference between central and PubMed, okay? So PubMed interface, they changed. So again, so distal radial, uh, distal radial, let's just search this only, right? Distal radial, distal radial access, distal radial percutaneous, Coronary intervention, right? All right, so first you go here, let's suppose this is your topic and you click meta analysis. Okay, nothing is published before. And then you basically, you can just delete this portion and then see if something is published on just distal radio. Rehabilitation for distal radio, radial nerve palsy, but I didn't think there is anything comparing a distal radial PCI, okay? Because mm -hmm. this distal radial is fractures and blah, 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 but nothing in cardiology. So next, basically, I'm just putting a full number here. Next, I wanna see how many clinical trials I have and how many observational studies I have. See, I have seven, mm -hmm. okay? So can I do a meta-analysis? Yes, I can. I uh, How? Because I want to compare distal radial versus, uh, distal radial versus uh, traditional radial, okay? And, and you, you don't choose the RCT on the mice control trial from the filter? You can do well, yeah, you can put RCT too, obviously. Okay, yes, yeah, yeah. sir, I have one question. Yeah. So basically what we, uh, can you go to the supplementary material? Yeah. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is that uh, we start making our supplementary material and we made the PICO criteria and everything. Exactly. And then select the mash words and keywords, which we selected exactly. from that mash term and we copy exactly. paste it here, okay? Yes. And then yes. we can do the PubMed search. And uh, uh, so this terminology, like you, you put it traditional radial or conventional radial or trans. So this, this one you created by yourself or- no, is this is my topic. This is my topic, right? So you my just topic is my topic is comparison of distal radial versus traditional radial PCI. No, so, I don't totally get that. But the the they, they put like the double bracket or triple bracket. You put it by yourself. What is the meaning of that? Which this double bracket triple bracket? Yeah. Oh, don't yeah, worry. Yeah. This this will come automatically. I'll I'll show you. Okay, so because I, yeah, yeah. I think you, you copy pasted from somewhere. So I just oh, want no, to- No, 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 I didn't copy paste it. So let me show you. First, you create your mesh words and keywords, all the appropriate. Okay. okay. So, so you have two buckets. Remember guys, I told you two buckets. It's a little bit tricky in this topic because like it's all like one bucket to be very true because everything is just under radial, but you can make distal radial as a separate bucket basically, right? 
So mm -hmm. my comparison is distal versus conventional. So one bucket is traditional, one bucket is distal. So here, what I'm gonna do, look, I'm gonna click advanced. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say distal radio. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna do add with or. So mm -hmm. first you're gonna use, if you're within the same bucket, you're gonna use or binder. Okay, okay. or. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna use radio. What else I used? Look at this, distal radio. I just used distal radio, okay and then distal radio, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna use R. Now I'm gonna search, okay? Mm -hmm. Now search showed me 493. Then I click advance again. Now I'm gonna do similar thing for traditional radio, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm gonna use N, R, right? Same thing. This is the second bucket I'm doing. Traditional mm -hmm. is also called conventional radio. Okay. Right, so then also I can just write traditional radio. Right, so and then R. Right, and search. Now, see, I got 110. So now I click advance. Now I look at this one very carefully, guys. Now, now I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna say add query, right? And now I'm gonna say add with end because now I'm comparing one bucket with another bucket. So what it did is like, look at this guys, it compared. So as I already selected the observational and RCTs, mm -hmm. so it added those filters automatically inside it, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. The the thing which you're seeing here, I did not put the filters. Okay. I selected the filters after. So that's why you're seeing a little bit different, but that's fine. Both are accurate methods. So you can see here, right? So this is my one bucket till here mm -hmm. right and then and is so software is putting an and between two buckets and also and between the filters also okay okay mm -hmm. so if you take out the filter software will remove those ands okay okay so if you click this see we have 16 study now mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now if i remove this right you're gonna see that the software will gonna remove those filters for me. Okay. So now the search strategy will be exactly the way I posted. Now, if you copy paste this here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it did not remove, but because we we have to deselect the filters before search okay. strategy, okay? okay? But you guys, you guys got the meaning, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Uh, and they, you don't choose any other types of RCT type, just uh, clinical trial, observational RCT only, nothing else. Pardon? I mean, you, you don't select any other article type from the above med center. Yeah, yeah. Only in this, okay. Okay. So PubMed is the main thing, guys. You can tweak things to expedite things. If you really, really want to do things properly, like, it will take some time to publish the meta-analysis because you have to go through each and every, but mm -hmm. just use the PubMed, other things you can just quickly screen, okay? Mm -hmm. So let me just teach you. You're good till here? So now you gonna, you, you need an end note, okay? So now you're gonna open- And I, I have one question in, in the advanced uh, search in PubMed. You, you you don't choose something else rather than all fields. Can you just click or on advanced? Advanced and Bob Med. Advanced is the easiest one. Yeah. You just I mean, I, I mean, you, you choose all fields when you search for something. You choose all fields. All fields, yes. You choose okay. all fields. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that search everything, mesh terms, keywords, whatever. Okay, okay, got it. So got then it. you open then you open your uh, end note and select file and then new. It will gonna create a new library for you. And I'm gonna write digital radio um, sample, whatever you wanna name it as. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now look at this. This is the end node interface. 
Now I'm going to go to groups and now I'm going to start creating a groups, PubMed. Mm -hmm. um, I like to be organized rather than like more like haphazard things. So then next portal, I'm going to search Ambase and next portal, I'm going to search Cochrane. Okay. Mm -hmm. And next portal, I'll just make one group of duplicates also. Okay. Guys, trust me, no one will going to teach you this, this stuff. Yes, it's um, amazing, actually. Yeah, so yeah. it's very, very easy. So listen to this one very carefully. So let's suppose this, <clears throat> once I have this data, mm -hmm. I can click send to, okay? Mm -hmm. Citation manager. Okay? All results. And then create file. All right, you see this, guys? Once mm -hmm. you're gonna create file, it will come automatically to your EndNote. Okay, you mm -hmm. see the beauty of this this software. You're gonna do Command A or Control A. You're gonna drag and drop to the PubMed. Boom. Now your search strategy for PubMed is done. Okay.